what's up guys um welcome back uh so classes started yesterday for me back to school um so not that i wasn't busy already but on top of how busy i already was classes are making things a lot more hectic so i know i've been slacking on the whole youtube thing but i'm gonna try to get back to that i'm not gonna do a lot of videos that involve much editing because I really don't have time for that right now but what I am gonna do I'm just gonna start doing some videos that are short um, don't have to be edited much it's just me talking providing some information to you guys covering I'm gonna try to cover topics that I either get asked about a lot or I have some type of opinion on um, if I don't cover something that you really want to be covered just let me know, um, comment on the on this video, on any of the videos, let me know on my Instagram, message me, um, just let me know topics that you guys might want me to cover, but, so for now, I'm not going to do a lot of other kinds of videos, just because I don't have time for it, I, but I will be trying to cover some topics for you guys, so this is going to be the first video of those. Um, and I'm gonna talk about HIT. So, I'm assuming most of you know what HIT is. Um, HIT cardio, high intensity interval training. But for those of you that don't, I'll explain it a little bit. Um, HIT is, or high intensity interval training, is when you do a short bout of exercise, let's say 30 seconds, followed by a duration of rest, just to bring your heart rate back down. Usually it's a one-to-one -one or one-to-two ratio of exercise to rest. So an example would be sprint intervals where you would sprint all out max effort for um, 15 to 30 seconds and then you would rest um, 30 to 60 seconds, something like that. The biggest thing about HIT is that on your exercise intervals you need to give it max effort you can't there's a big difference between interval training and the high intensity interval training if you're actually looking to get the benefits of hit you really need to give it everything you've got when you're hitting your intense interval after your rest period um, I see a lot of people doing hit on treadmills or saying they did hit on treadmills. Machines are not the best situation to do hit, mainly because it you're on a track. You can't. It doesn't really allow you to give max effort. Things like ellipticals and bikes, um, if they're set up right, you can do hit on. But as far as treadmills go, unless you have the incline all the way up to almost vertical and you have the speed maxed out, you're not going to be able to give max effort. There is one way, I actually did this this morning, that you can do hit on a treadmill. It's called a dead mill sprint. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn the treadmill on, bump up the incline, and then turn the treadmill off. You're going to start pushing, using leg drive to rotate the belt. And once you get get it going slightly, you're gonna go about 15 seconds max effort um, sprinting on an incline with the treadmill off. So you're using legs to push the belt rather than the machine moving the belt and you're just going with it. So that's one way to do hit on a treadmill. Personally, if I had my preference, I wouldn't use machines for hit. I like to do hit after my workouts. Um, usually just 10 to 15 minutes max sometimes only 5 minutes I'll just do a couple intervals um, I like to do things like battle ropes um, tire flips or sprints when I can work outside or have somewhere outside that I can work with like a field when I was back home I used the football field but now I don't have a place I can sprint outside so I'll do intervals on the on an elliptical sometimes that has a really high resistance that allows me to give max effort 
or I'll do dead mill sprints, something like that. Um, but you'll see people say, oh, I just did 30 minutes or 45 minutes or even an hour of hit. That's a bunch of shit. Um, <laughs> sorry, but if that's you, you're, you're not doing it right. If you can do hit for 45 minutes plus, you're not you're not giving enough effort and you're not going to get the benefits of hit you're just doing more endurance training at that point you might be doing intervals but you're definitely not doing high intensity intervals if you're doing it right 15 to 30 minutes you're going to feel dead um so that's kind of a big point you you need to get to actually get the benefits of hit you need to give it max effort every time you're hitting your high intensity interval. Um, there's nothing wrong with other forms of cardio, low intensity, steady state cardio or lists, um, just walking on an incline. I do that from time to time. But when you're crunched for time, hit can be really awesome. It takes way less time, it's a lot more efficient. But if you're doing it after or around your training session, or you're on low calories, whatever, it does take a lot more out of you, so you have to take that into consideration. Um, I could get into all the science behind why it hits better, um, the whole afterburn effect, how it makes you burn more calories throughout the rest of the day, um, how it helps either build or preserve muscle. There's a lot of research on it. I'm not gonna get into the research. This is just kind of me giving my opinion I'm gonna keep it short and simple could go a lot more in depth you can do your own research if you want but yeah definitely try out hit if you're looking for a quicker more efficient form of cardio but just make sure you're doing it right don't do it for 45 minutes an hour uh, you're just gonna either you're gonna kill yourself or you're not doing it right so that's it for hit um, let me know if you guys want any specific t topics covered, otherwise I'll get to as much as I can. I'll try to make videos as often as I can, but no guarantees, no promises with how busy school's going to be for me, so. Alright, that's about it. I'll catch you guys next time.